Ever wondered why Catholics have statues in their homes and churches? Well, what better way to start our journey than by addressing the elephant in the room? Catholic statues, contrary to popular belief, are not objects of worship. Instead, they serve as aids for remembrance, teaching tools, and commemorations. They are visual reminders of the spiritual realities that Catholics believe in and reflect upon. Throughout the history of Christianity, art has been an essential medium for conveying biblical stories and teachings. Stained glass windows, icons, paintings, and of course, statues, all play a part in this grand narrative. The Church officially endorsed the use of statues in the Second Council of Nicaea in 787 AD. When you see a Catholic bowing or kneeling before a statue, understand that it's not the statue they are worshiping. It's a sign of respect, a gesture that passes the honor to the person portrayed by the statue. Let's delve deeper into the history and evolution of these statues in Catholic worship. To fully understand the significance of statues, let's travel back in time. From the earliest days of Christianity, art has played an integral role in conveying the rich tapestry of biblical stories and teachings. These artistic expressions took on many forms, from the vibrant narratives told through stained glass windows, to the solemn and reverent icons, the intricate paintings, and of course, the statues. Each piece of art served as a visual sermon, a wordless teaching tool that communicated the faith's profound truths. Yet among these, statues have often been a focal point of controversy. The use of statues in veneration, a practice of showing respect and honor, was misunderstood by many. Some viewed it as a form of idolatry, a stark contrast to the faith's teachings against the worship of false gods. These controversies, however, did not deter the church. In fact, it was during the Second Council of Nicaea in the year 787 AD that the church made a bold move. They officially endorsed the use of statues in veneration. This was not a casual decision but a clear affirmation of the value of these tangible expressions of faith. The church clarified that veneration of images was not idolatry, but a respectful honor that passes to the person portrayed. The statue was seen not as an object of worship, but as a conduit to the divine, a way to connect with the holy figures they represented. This historic endorsement established a tradition that has endured for centuries, shaping the way art and faith intertwine in the Catholic tradition. It set the stage for the use of statues in homes and churches, serving as reminders of spiritual realities, aids in prayer and meditation, and fostering devotion to saints. With this historical context in mind, we can now examine the role of statues in today's Catholic worship. In the present day, Catholic statues continue to hold a significant place in worship. Statues are much more than mere decorative elements in Catholic churches, homes, and institutions. They play an integral role in the faith journey of many Catholics, serving as tangible reminders of spiritual realities. When a Catholic gazes upon a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for instance, it's not the piece of art they're focusing on, but rather the spiritual beauty and virtues of Mary herself. The statue serves as a visual prompt, reminding them of her humility, grace, and unwavering faith. But these statues have another important function. They aid in prayer and meditation. It's a common sight to see someone in a church, eyes closed, hands clasped, standing or kneeling before a statue. This isn't worship of the statue, but rather the person using the statue as a focus point for their prayers. The statue helps them visualize the saint or figure they are praying to, making the experience more personal and intimate. Then there's the fostering of devotion to saints. Each statue in a church has a story to tell, a life to celebrate, and virtues to inspire. They represent men and women who live their faith to the fullest, serving as role models for Catholics today. Saint Francis of Assisi, for example, is often depicted with birds and animals representing his love for all God's creatures. His statue inspires Catholics to strive for a similar love and respect for nature and all living beings. Finally, these statues reflect the importance of faith in one's life. Just as family photos adorn the walls of a home, so too do religious statues have a place in Catholic households. They serve as daily reminders of one's faith, encouraging prayer, reflection, and a constant striving to live in accordance with the teachings of the Church. Now that we've looked at the role of statues in Catholic worship, let's address a common misconception, idolatry. A common question asked is, do Catholics worship statues? The answer is, a resounding no. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this topic. Firstly, it's crucial to distinguish between veneration and worship. These are two different concepts. 
Veneration, or honor, is the respect we give to those who reflect the divine, like saints. This is different from worship, which is the adoration and reverence given solely to God. Now you might be wondering, why do Catholics use statues in religious contexts? Statues serve as aids for remembrance, as teaching tools and as commemorations. Imagine walking into a grand cathedral and seeing a statue of St. Peter. That statue serves as a visual reminder of his life, his teachings, and his devotion to Christ. It's not an object of worship but a tool to aid in our understanding and remembrance. It's also important to mention that the Catholic Church's grouping of the Ten Commandments, which is different from some Protestant denominations, prohibits idolatry. The Church takes this commandment very seriously. The golden calf incident in the Book of Exodus is a stark reminder of the consequences of idolatry. So, when you see Catholics bowing or kneeling before statues, understand that this is a sign of respect, not worship. It's a way of showing reverence to the person the statue represents, much like how one might bow before a king or queen. It's an acknowledgement of their virtues and their place in God's plan, not an act of idolatry. In conclusion, the role of statues in Catholicism is not about worship, but about veneration, education, and remembrance. They serve as tangible reminders of the saints and their virtuous lives, inspiring us to live in accordance with God's teachings. Understanding the difference between veneration and worship is key to understanding why Catholics have statues. Let's recap what we've learned about Catholic statues. We've journeyed through time and across continents tracing the history of the use of statues in Catholic worship. We've seen how these statues are more than mere decorative elements, but rather, they serve as potent reminders of the spiritual and the divine. They are tangible expressions of faith, aids in prayer and meditation, and they foster devotion to saints. From the early days of Christianity, art has been a powerful medium for conveying biblical stories and teachings. Stained glass windows, icons, paintings, and statues, these were the tools the church used to communicate the divine to the faithful. And despite controversies, the church officially endorsed the use of statues at the Second Council of Nicaea in 787 AD, underlining their significance in the faith. In our contemporary world, these statues continue to play a crucial role in Catholic worship. They are found in churches, in homes, and in places of pilgrimage. They inspire, they teach, and they remind Catholics of their faith's richness and depth. They stand as silent witnesses to the power of belief and the continuity of a tradition that has spanned centuries. One of the most important points we've discussed is the distinction between veneration and worship. It's a crucial distinction that is often misunderstood. Bowing or kneeling before a statue is not a sign of worshiping that statue. It's a sign of respect, an acknowledgement of the spiritual reality that the statue represents. The worship is directed at God, never at the statue itself. The Catholic Church's interpretation of the commandments, particularly the prohibition against idolatry, affirms this. The veneration of statues is not idolatry, but a respectful honor that passes to the person portrayed. It's a way of connecting with the divine, of remembering the saints and their lives of virtue, of teaching the younger generation about the faith. So next time you see a statue in a Catholic home or church, remember it's not an object of worship but a tool for remembering, teaching and honoring the faith. As we transition from the broader context of Catholic statues in churches and places of pilgrimage, let's focus on a more intimate setting, the home. Many Catholics choose to have statues in their homes, and there are several powerful reasons for this. Firstly, having a religious statue in your home serves as a constant reminder of your faith. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to get caught up in our worldly concerns. A statue can serve as a visual cue, a gentle nudge, reminding us to pause, to reflect, to pray. Secondly, these statues can help create a sacred space within the home. Just as churches have statues, so too can your home. This can transform a part of your living space into a place of prayer and meditation, a sanctuary where you can connect with God. Thirdly, statues in the home can act as a teaching tool, especially for children. They can spark curiosity, leading to questions and discussions about the faith. They can also serve as a tangible link to the stories of the saints, making these stories more real and more relatable. Finally, having a statue in your home can foster a personal devotion to a particular saint. Many Catholics find comfort and inspiration in the lives of the saints, and having a statue of a beloved saint can be a source of great spiritual support. Remember, these statues are not idols to be worshipped, but rather they are aids in worship, tools for devotion, and reminders of the divine. Just as a family photo on a mantelpiece reminds us of our loved ones, so too does a religious statue remind us of our spiritual family and our faith. 
Whether it's a statue of the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, or any other saint, these sacred figures can bring a sense of peace, purpose, and perspective into our homes and our lives.